Hey guys, what's up? This is Nazardu and you're watching DCS and today I want to show you how to recon on the Enigma's Cold War server. I do this video as an update to the original Enigma announcement of this mechanic and I want to give you some tips for performing this task on the server. Let's start with the planes that you can choose to do the reconnaissance. Right now there are four, no, five planes that can do recon flights and all of them have slightly different recon parameters. You can see them in the FAQ and I will blend them in here together with the planes. There is the MiG-21. The uh, Mighty Ninja Vigan. You can do it with the Mirage F1. The C101CC. And the L39ZA. Okay, but how to perform recon flights? You pick one of the recon capable planes and take off in a slick configuration. You are allowed to carry countermeasure pods and fuel tanks. Once you took off, you will get a notification that you are on a valid recon flight. In the F10 menu, you will find the option to start your camera. So how does this look in praxis? We start with planning. Pick a route that will take you to the edge of the enemy front line. Come in a little bit wide so you don't have to do sharp turns when you move into enemy territory. You want to be as fast as possible. On the small Caucasus map it was possible to cover the full frontline sector with one pass just by flying straight over the middle of the sector 500 meters below recon ceiling. On the big maps it's not recommended to do that. Instead, you should go low, spot the enemy positions with your radar or Mark 1 eyeball and turn the camera on just before you fly over the target. After that, immediately turn off the camera, head to the next enemy group and repeat. A lot of those groups will shoot at you and some have anti-air guns, so don't just fly in a straight line as you pass them. Pulling the nose up some degrees is usually enough to evade ground fire. Now, the only thing you have to do is bring back the plane and touch down on a friendly airfield or road base. And your film gets developed and on the F10 map, markers will give away enemy unit positions. Together with QFE informations for the Vigan to attack them. Here are some additional tips. Check for SAM areas. Some sectors will have airfields or farbs with SAM cover. You can check with F11 if they are intact and if so, prepare for evasive action or go around them. Also have a look at the server time. You can get information about the server time if you open the chat and type in dash time left, no capitals altogether. The server always runs for 4 hours and then restarts. Also, after two hours, there is a server tick that might move the front line. The best time to do a recon flight is right after server start or server tick. Also, communicate with your teammates. Do not waste yours or a team member's flight time. Announce your recon flight via the chat or SRS. And it's also important to know where to find the enemy or where the enemy won't be. Note that enemy positions will never be in dense forest areas, so don't waste camera time there. Also, very high mountains are very unlikely spots for enemy troops. Right after releasing the video, uh, someone on the Enigma Discord um, gave me a hint that there is another, if you ask me, a little bit cheesy, but much more effective method to do that. So what you do is you go like two to three hundred meters below your maximum reconnaissance altitude. You go in a straight line over the front line and activate the camera every five to ten seconds for a second, then deactivate it again and repeat that process covering the complete front line. 
as you can see here i gathered intel on 70 targets and uh, this server tick was running for like three hours so i assume if this would been a fresh start it would have been like i don't know 100 targets or something like this so it's your choice you can do it the fun way or you can do it the effective way but you know all the ways to do it now and beside plain reconnaissance there's also helo recon you can also use infantry drops with helos to do reconnaissance on blue side you can use the gazelle and on the red side the hind to do so at the far up you open the f10 menu and load your troops you then fly to the front line land there and you will get a notification that your troops are about to drop after two minutes they will despawn and perform the recon task for three minutes they will reveal enemy units in a 4.5 kilometer radius from the drop-off point when they have completed the task you will get a notification and they respawn at another location they will pop green flares and you need to pick them up within five minutes or they will despawn as soon as you loaded the troops, you will get the intel and the markers appear on the F10 map. You can then use the same guys to recon another area. At this point I should say that on the large maps Hilo recon has become obsolete and is no viable option anymore. There's just too much ground to cover. The enemy troops are too widely spread out and it's just absolutely time consuming and uh, doesn't give a lot of reward to do helo recon at the moment well all that's left to say is that recon flights are a lot of fun and a massive support to your team i hope you enjoyed the video and i would appreciate a like or a comment or a subscription thanks a lot for watching take care see you on the next one